Hi, welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos. Today, in this video, we'll be looking at how to use aggregator transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Let's look at the basic features of aggregator transformation and we'll also walk through a demo of how to use aggregator transformation in Informatica Cloud Data Integration Task. Aggregator transformation is being used in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer to aggregate a set of data from the input. User can configure a group by field in the aggregator transformation to group or aggregate the data on. Always the group is created uniquely on the combination of fields configured for the group by or on which the aggregation needs to be performed. It is always recommended to sort the data on the same set of fields on which it is going to be configured for aggregation. Let's go ahead and walk through a demo Open a browser and log into Informatica Cloud Portal using your credentials. Navigate to Design Mapping. Click on New Mapping to create a mapping task. In this case, I'm going to give a suitable name for this mapping task. drag and drop the source transformation I have a pre-configured source CSV file on which you now we will try to read the data from select the appropriate source connection I'm selecting the appropriate object after which drag and drop the aggregator transformation give a suitable name link the output of the source to the input of the aggregator transformation try to read the fields over here if you look at it you'll see all the input fields. In this case, the sample data set from the source belongs to that of a sales based on a geography. So we'll be trying to read the sales amount. Click on group by, select the field name on which you would like to aggregate. In this case, it's geography. You can include fields which just contain aggregation of any of the data. We'll try to include an output field here on sales. When you're using aggregation transformation you can always try to use those functions which belong to aggregation like max, sum, average and others. In this case we'll try to use sum as one of the function and we'll try to use the field sales amount USD. Validate the expression and click OK. Whenever an aggregation is being done on a set of input fields and the data rows coming in, the aggregated output field will always be linked up to the last row of the group in that particular incoming data. Let's go ahead and try to drag and drop a target transformation. Configure appropriate connection for that. In this case, I'll be creating a new target during runtime. Let's do save and continue and then do a save and run. Since this is a mapping, I might need to select 
the runtime environment to run the task. The task is in run state as you could see in the activity monitor. As you could see the task has run successful. There were nine source data rows and two target. So let's analyze the source and the target. The following is a source data file. The sales amount is the last field. Let's look at the target and see how these data got aggregated together with respect to geography. As you could see, this is the target file wherein the output sales has aggregated sum of all the sales value and it has one data row for Europe geography and one data row for North America. And if you look at the ID, which is a unique value from the source data, it corresponds to the last data row of a given group from the input data row set. With this, we come to the end of our demo. We would love to hear from you. You can post your feedback to supportvideos at infomerica.com or tweet us at twitter.com info support.